and initially when we spoke of the peak in April, that was our worst case scenario, assuming that we did nothing. But remember, we did a lot of things. We closed schools, we imposed the curfew, later we restricted movement in Mombasa, Nairobi, and of course our message of infection prevention control. All these have led to a smoother curve rather than a peak rise, in which case our peak ought to have come earlier. We project now our peak will be around August, September, in which case we'll be reporting about 200 plus cases per day. That is if we continue with the measures and the interventions that we put in place today. Remember, modeling keeps on changing based on variables that you in input. And our wish is to continue with the measures that we put in place, which has made it possible for us to have a smoother curve. Therefore, our health system has not been overrun. And if we continue to implement these measures, we believe even if we reach that peak, we'll be able to cope. Uh, remember also when we opened the restaurants, based on the modeling curve that we have done, it did not have any major impact on the number of cases. So we want to uh, thank the restaurant owners for taking the initiative of developing standards and protocols together with us and implementing them to the letter, ensuring that there's a bit of social distance in the restaurant. We have in infection prevention control measures, including hand washing, use of sanitizers, and use of masks in public places. So with the opening of the restaurants, we have not seen an upsurge in the number of cases. And these are the measures that we are trying to look at when we are doing our remodeling in planning for opening of schools, churches, and other social gatherings. But each measure will be taken according to science. It will be purely based on science. And I told you a few weeks ago that an average, a Nairobi or an average Kenyan comes into contact with people on a daily basis. So the two most important interventions are, or three most important interventions are, hand washing with soap and water and sanitizers. Number two is physical distancing. And number three is avoiding gatherings. If we can be able to implement these measures to the letter, we can gradually open up our economy. The numbers that we have been reporting keep on increasing because one, uh, we have ramped up our testing capacity. As Honorable Waziri has reported today, last, last night we tested 3,000 102. And because we, has, we have established community transmission, it means the more we test, the more we are likely to pick. Uh, with that in mind, it would not be a surprise, for example, if we test 4,000 people to report 100 plus cases. So we should be prepared for that scenario. But we should not lose our cool and our take control of the measures that we continue to preach, that even if you report 100 cases and we put all these measures into place, again, the curve will be smoother. Even when we reach our peak, we'll be able to cope. Thank you.